practice like jumping. Just basically. Hello everyone, I just landed in Denver. I've got five hours to kill as some of my friends trickle in to the state before we drive up to our ski house for the week. So I randomly just decided to get a room at this Marriott hotel connected to the airport and the people were so nice and they were like, oh, you're just staying for like a couple hours. We'll just upgrade you to our executive suite. And now I am freaking, I just wanted a bed to nap in for a little bit, but this suite is so crazy. You walk in, we've got bathroom number one, and then a dining room table, what? The living room, the view of the terminal, um, giant closet I won't be using, huge bed, desk, and then bathroom number two, jumbo, shower, little baby bath, I honestly might use that baby bath. The whole thing is like so crazy and it just is so unexpected and luxurious for my four hour um, wait here. Actually, I wanna check out the fitness center and the swimming pool. Okay, let's go look at that quickly. My God, this is the swimming pool and hot tub? Are you kidding me? It's the gym. There's literally nobody here. Unbelievable. I'm actually gonna be staying at this hotel at the back end of my um, trip, I have like a flight out a day later than everyone else, so I will be back to this lovely gym. Kind of creepy being the only person here. I think I'm gonna go for a swim. Well, I might wait for Greg and Ann went to go meet a friend for brunch in Denver, so when they come back, I'm gonna need to show them the suite, but I might, we might, maybe I'll convince them to go for a swim. Wow. <laughs> Six, seven, eight. Very good, very good. Wow. Christina and Anne up ahead in the amazing race. Greg and Hannah, no, we're to be found. We you turned them, so. <laughs> we're gonna go meet the fifth friend of today's squad. He is getting the rental car. And then we're gonna go to the place. Tonight, Ben is cooking dinner. This is not Ben, this is Greg. But Ben has been cooking for maybe two hours. He literally stirs. These are his spices. At one point, he sneezed so much, and the spices went everywhere on the floor. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Look at that. He's honestly been silent for a really long time. Just like literally cooking. I don't know where he went. Um, here's the rest of the team. That's John. A brand new character we unlocked in the last episode. <laughs> That's Greg's brother. So it's not kiss. What are you drinking, Greg? Drinking simply lemonade. Simply spiked lemonade. And one through ten, how would you rate it? 
I rated it a seven. It tastes seven? Kind of locally. Interesting. Okay, um, Ben, I will say we were just observing your... Sorry, it's taking so long. Wait, no, we were commenting on how long you've been working on this. I, it ended up being too much liquid. Okay, um, we have follow-up questions. First... Roxbury Latin, you went to an all boys school? I did go to an all boys school. Oh. Okay, that's that all I school? got. That's all my Roxbury that's Latin content. <laughs> what were the pros and cons of going to an all boys school? Let's see, well, you could do things that you didn't feel pressure to do because I could sing, and you know, it's not a very manly thing to do in high school. Oh! Like, okay, yeah, like now there's no pressure because there's no girls. Mm. Um, Whoa, that was really positive. Okay. Let's see, cons. Um, well, my social skills for flirting didn't really develop until after college. So. Megan would say otherwise. Okay, now you've got a lovely girlfriend who you live with, so... I think it all worked out. This is a pretty good plug yeah, for yeah, Roxbury yeah, 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 yeah. Live. <laughs> What's this dish called? Oh, it's, it's like a shrimp etouffee. It's like a, it's like a gumbo basic. Shrimp etouffee. You French. You got hit by no Everyone has been cooking oh. French dishes <laughs> all week a la Greg <laughs> last <laughs> night. Guys, tomorrow I have a ski lesson and I'm very nervous. You got this. Got it. And making these good luck Rice Krispie treats. That's right. They're all good for you. <laughs> That's gonna make sure I don't wipe out. I am scared, but I think it'll be okay. Thank you. Oh. Wait, so if I'm the only one going, mm. I'm going to go now. big. Alright guys, I'm on my first run. That is not my lesson. And she's <laughs> it. Here's the team. So it is a green. Kind of some steep areas though. Well, my lips are numb. Show what it looks like, chaps. Show the people. Show the people. Hey, was. You did so But good. just imagine it's super scary. <laughs> Baby, that one. <laughs> this, this is cool though. All right, bye. Good morning, everyone. Today we are going to go ski in Steamboat. Yesterday was my first full day of skiing. We went to Copper Mountain. My legs and back are extremely sore. I haven't skied in years and years, but I took a little lesson, got right back into it, feeling good about going out today. I'm excited. Steamboat's about an hour and a half drive away, so we're just getting ready now, then we're gonna head out so we can have a full day of skiing. Here's Hannah. We got five hours of sleep last <laughs> night. We're doing great. We're wide awake though, because it's super sunny. We're not getting sunburnt today. No. We have a deadly skincare combo. I have 70 SPF too. This is, oh no, this is 50. There's not even that much left. Eye cream and sunscreen. I don't see how we could go wrong with this. My face is already like dry and cracked, so. Where'd you get the 70 sunscreen? Target. Oh, nice. <laughs> the way you move, baby, you're so fine. Your hips swing like God's design. Pizza, Colorado style pizza, and then some of us are gonna go night skiing. I don't know what that's about, but John's definitely going. Oh, yeah. for sure. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and then maybe we're gonna do some shopping around town too. Well, their whole thing. Just 
finished an entire day skiing at Steamboat. I haven't been to Steamboat since I was a kid and I didn't remember anything. So much fun, huge mountain, really long routes. I'm really glad the skiing stuff is coming back to me because I would not have been happy on this trip just like sitting on the sideline in the lodge. So if you're ever a first time skier or you haven't skied in a long time, do like a half day group lesson. It was very beneficial. Things came back very quickly for me. Right now, half the group is night skiing, um, just half a mile behind me. And then the other half, me and Hannah are gonna go home. We have like an hour and a half drive home. She's just picking up our skis right now. And then we're gonna hot tub. We walked around Steamboat. Got a little caramel apple in here. I'm really excited to eat. Okay. Blue skis and blue poles, and it says yeah, CML. I think I saw, <gasps> yes. Yeah, I saw your skis, and literally they were the only ones on the rack. Okay, okay, that was Hannah. She's back with the skis. We're gonna go home. It's been like five degrees all day, but Colorado, 300 days of sunshine. I'm actually getting a little sunburned. Do you see my nose? It's a little red. So we're gonna go home, and I will talk to you later. Okay, can I just tell me the like literal bare bones? What are we having for dinner we're tonight? Having um, Mediterranean chicken with caramelized onions and rice and oh, tomatoes. Yum. Yes. And for contact, oh, here are the tomatoes. Oh, and there's chickpeas too. Oh my god. And the chicken. The chicken is not done. Wait, stop. It smells so good. For context, Hannah cooks every single night for herself and her roommates. So we're very excited about this dinner. She lives in Baltimore right now, but she'll be moving to New York soon. We are going in the hot tub now. <laughs> Look at this hot tub view. It's beautiful. Ooh. I'm gonna do a snow angel over there as a rite of passage for being in a hot tub when it's snowing outside. Here we are. We're going to dinner at the Eclectic. This is the squad. Hi squad. <laughs> we are coming here because the menu looked incredible and we really want a bison burger. However, after looking at the menu, I might not even get a bison burger and I was the one who was going on and on about wanting it. So I'm probably gonna get that pie. I'd be shocked. I give you a kiss for every day that I've missed Just to show you that my lips taste better than his When times get tough, he'll run away But I'll be right beside you to make it okay You're stomping down your garden and eating your fruit I'm planting seeds for what we could do A flower takes its time to bloom And I've grown to love you Alright, we're heading home to the airport But we stopped at Red Rocks Amphitheater. We're kind of like just a couple steps up right now. We'll eventually make our way to the top. Oh, will we? As a rite of passage. Oh, yeah. Oh. There she is. Beautiful. Beautiful. She's so pretty. I saw one concert here. It was sick. Oh, really? I was going yeah. to look if there's a concert here. It was so, so sick. It was. So much Bye. Much Bye. 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 Safe travels. Thanks. Hello everyone, we just dropped off Greg and Anne at the airport. Hannah's returning the rental car and her and I are spending the night in the best hotel in the world, the West in Denver. Um, we're gonna watch TV, go in the hot tub, order french fries, eat dinner and just chill for 24 hours because we both have afternoon flights tomorrow. And then I'm headed back to New York City. And then guess what you guys, I am immediately turning around from New York City and headed overseas to Italy and Switzerland and maybe France and we're going all over. It's gonna be very fun. I'm gonna end the Colorado vlog here. Thank you for following along and I will talk to you very soon.
Bye. Oh, there's no blue